All right, testing audio here. Can anyone hear me? Just trying to listen to it on my phone. What's up, Brian? What's up, Gumball Star? How's it going, guys? Thanks for being here. All right, I lowered the audio a little bit. Um, I think I got it now. What's up, Mike? What's up, Jerry? What's up, Mer the Mercado channel? What is your name, by the way? Um, Mike, I guess you're already a moderator, so congrats on being a moderator. Definitely kick out any spam that comes in here. Just want to talk and chill with everyone, whoever's not going out on this beautiful Saturday night. See if anyone has questions, and then just talk a little bit about life and what I plan on doing on this channel and stuff. Uh, just a casual conversation. Or whatever you guys want it to be, honestly. But it looks like I could uh, super chat myself, which I'm very curious how this works. That I can essentially just send a dollar to myself. Does YouTube really allow me to do this? Let's see. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> nope, just kidding. You cannot super chat yourself. I just tried to super chat myself. YouTube does not allow that to happen, which is all good. What's up, Mark? I'm sorry, man. I've been super busy. I mean, I watch your videos, but I guess I never catch your name. I actually, a fun fact about me, I watch all YouTube videos on two times speed. Um, kind of a weird thing that I do, but yeah. I know for sure I got some questions. All right, Gumball Store, excited. Happy coin vending, how's it going? Jonah, are you in bulk candy? Yes, I do have bulk candy, bulk machines, toy machines. Um, everything's going good, Mike. What's up, Pablo? Make sure everyone smashes that like button on the way in. Really helps the chat get going. Really helps getting you know all my subscribers in here, everyone in here. Get a nice chat going. Um, people might be partying though, so it's all good. Orlando, what's up? How you doing? I just hit 2,600 subscribers. I mean, nothing crazy to brag about, but super excited for that. Um, yeah can I be a moderator uh, we already have Mike in here uh, if there's more people that come in here then you could definitely be a moderator that's fine so what's everyone doing on the Saturday night what time zone are you guys in where are you all from how are your vending businesses doing? If you haven't started a vending business, why haven't you started a, a vending business? I really wanna know. Uh, super easy business to start. You could start with honor boxes, you could start with candy machines, you know? So just update me on where everyone's at. I got some tea here. Pretty good, decaffeinated uh, green tea with a little honey. Smash that like. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the smash of the like button. Really helps things get going here. Um, I just made a video on a new triple head machine. Okay, very cool. Um, I had this problem last time where like, I tried to click on channels and go check out the videos. I am two weeks into having locations. Want to check up on the machines today. All good. Oh, you went. Okay, awesome. Did you check the money? How was the money on them? Uh, super excited to see your journey because we were talking since way before you bought machines. But let me look up Happy Coin Vending right now to give you a sub if I haven't subbed to your channel already. I am subscribed already, Happy Coin Vending. Your name is Eli. Nice to meet you, Eli. You got two views on this video. Sweet. Super cool. All right. So 
So this might be a difficult question, but overall I have been vending now for two months and I've learned that many actual franchise locations that you would assume have contracts are big locations, similar to Walmart locations or big franchise restaurants. I don't know if I read that not properly. Two months I learned that many actual. Yeah, I don't know if your question's complete there, but I, I don't know if you're talking about how to get into those type of places or whatnot. My bulk is giving me two gumballs per transaction, so I need to fix that before taking it to a location. Honestly, Orlando, I know this may sound dumb, but if you have a location and that's your biggest issue and you can't fix it, I'm not saying this is the solution to it, but put it on location. Realize if you're not that handy with that type of stuff, um, you'll still make, what, 20 cents or 19 cents per vend. So you're still very profitable and you're over 100% profit. Um, if you can't fix that and it's just a bigger wheel, then just put it out. But if you can fix it, here's how you could do it. I'm just assuming it's a regular head. You should be able to unscrew the globe that's on the top. If it's a vent star, you have to do it differently. You unscrew from the bottom. But once you go into the machine, uh, it's pretty simple. There should just be screws to open up for you to be able to move it. Some machines have like grooves that you move the groove around uh, to give certain sizes out per candy, per transaction. Because you want to measure that stuff. But give them two gumballs. People will be happy. People will give you quarters. You might even sell more, you know. I'm about to have three locations as a 15 year old. That's super awesome to hear. I am super happy to hear about all the young people starting vending businesses because I wish, you know, when I was 15 year old, 15 years old, I started a vending business. I had another business at the time. I fixed phones um, and I was actually starting another company. But yeah, I've definitely started a lot of companies. I've failed a lot of times. I've done a lot of stuff, but 15 years old, do vending. If you do that until you're 21, you'll have a nice little income, you know? Similar to Walmart locations or big franchises. Oh, so my question, bro, what are some common issues that you personally have experienced with your snack and soda machines? Coin max, compressors, coils, borals, bills. Are, okay, let's talk about that. Good topic to talk about. Um, for anyone looking to enter the soda or snack machine business, those are the machines that vend snacks, the machines that vend drinks. This is called the full line machines in the vending business. Um, if you're looking to do those, uh, mark had asked what are the common problems that you have with those machines and the common problems that you do have sometimes are the bill validator but you'll keep those clean by putting these clean sheets inside them you can look them up on amazon um, keep your bill validator clean coins getting jammed in your coin mech sometimes common but there's usually a little flap that you can get the coins out usually not too hard of a problem sometimes things on the bill validator will go sometimes on drink machines the buttons may be pushed in if people push too hard on the buttons and it's an older soda machine um, compressors, I've been, had my fair share of luck with compressors. Honestly, those things can last 10 to 15 years and it's really not a big thing to have to worry about. But sometimes you get unlucky and you do have to fix compressors. So it's good to know a technician, a vending technician, um, because then they'll need to fix your business, but you don't want them to screw you. I've had vending technicians, you know, say 150 bucks just to come and, you know, fix a little button that was broke. So it's kind of crazy sometimes, but be careful with that. Those are my big things, I guess. Um, I've never really had serious issues. I've bought fairly better condition machines, whether it be a little like little used or you know not too old, a couple years old. But once you start pushing past 10 years old of a machine, you know it gets a lot harder because it's harder to even find um, parts for them. So. And how would you go on approaching this companies for location free vetting? And sorry, it limits typing at 200 characters. Okay, didn't know that, but yeah, sorry for the major delay probably. Um, to get those type of locations, it really depends. I've heard of other people that do vending that they're able to get those locations, but you just have to be careful because Walmart actually is in a contract with the vendors that they have. But the Walmart by my house in particular, they actually don't have any vending machines, which is a really weird thing. So I could probably try to talk to the GM of that store and say, hey, let me place a machine here. But sometimes Walmart wants to have control of it. You just have to find the right person. That's what this business is about. Find the right person to talk to and you'll get the location. It's really that simple. You know, some people just push you away because they don't know what you're doing, but be upfront and honest about what you're doing and your motives and, you know, tell them it's free. There's no strings attached and just hope for the best. Essentially, it's a numbers game. It was 450 for 20. 450, you mean 850? It's usually 850 for 22. Um, 
if you're not buying your gumballs for uh, 850, 850 count for $22 at BJ's, Costco, or Sam's Club, you're really missing out on, you know, like the profit that you can get for just signing up from BJ's. And I'm sure on Groupon, you could get your BJ's card and get a very cheap membership. I have eight U-turns all in locations, and I'm 13. I am so happy. Wow, that's awesome. Where are you from, Jonah? That's sweet. Turn the volume up? Really? Okay. I didn't expect that to be a thing. I don't think the volume is a thing. I'll put it up a little bit, but um, I'm checking my readouts here. So it says it's definitely pretty high. Um, volume is fine. Yeah, that's what I figured. I can only hear my left speaker. That's actually very interesting, uh, claiming your left speaker is good and your right speaker is good, but I'm sorry. If anyone's having these type of issues, please let me know. Um, this is probably only my f second or third time going live. I have a new location at a grub bar and grill, and it was doing amazing. I'm going to see how it did in its first week tomorrow, and yes, there will be a video. Awesome. Good luck with the video. Um, sounds awesome. Bars and grills are usually pretty good if they don't mess with your machines. Thank you so much for your feedback. It's always good to hear from someone who's actually experienced with it. I'm dedicated this entire year to grow my bulk business tremendously. Then uh, we'll move up. Yeah, that's the best way, man. That's how I started getting into full line. I built my bulk business up to a nice amount amount, a nice amount amount of machines. I can't even speak right now. Um, and I built my bulk location up to a nice amount of machines, and then I got into full line because then you could take that money, take your profits, and put it into the bigger machines. Start small with the full line too. Uh, I went pretty crazy and I financed my first machine and that was ridiculous. Um, but start small, you know, buy cheap machines. That's the best way and the easiest way to grow because you want to make profit. That's your biggest thing. If you saw my recent video, it's maximizing your profits in this business. You know, obviously we make 50, 60%, sometimes 70% on soda and snacks. And even on our toys, we're making probably over 100%. Usually if you have your mechs correct, your toys, is, toys correct and all that stuff. Um, so it's kind of crazy to think that you could even maximize more, but you really can maximize this business to a high potential. Um, and you have to maximize it at certain points when you get a lot of machines. But that's just me going on a tangent there. I'm not sure if anyone knows this, but nerd gumballs, what profit margins does it have compared to the original gumballs? I remember looking at them. I actually do not sell them, but Cody had told me about them um, or Eli had told me about them from quick play but i think they're like eight cents or nine cents it's i think it was double it was at least double or like close to double i am from canada that's awesome um i guess you know weird question but how does the mechs work in canada for the u-turns um is it the same coin like the 25 cent coin actually yeah it is the same coin because those coins work here cause sometimes i get a uh, canadian quarters i guess the audio is a little louder on the left Honestly, that's super interesting to me, but sorry if anyone's having bad hearing. I wish it was good quality. Um, sorry. Any other questions here? I think uh, I definitely want to hear you guys' feedback on some of the videos I have on my channel. I mean, you could be harsh if you'd like to. I don't really know the direction to go because it seems like collection videos really aren't all you want to see. Obviously, you want to see the money, um, but I think a lot of you seem to have your own businesses in here. So what value can I provide going forward? Awesome. Flint Motorsports. Very cool. So yeah, definitely for anyone new in here, uh, what's up? If you're just starting out in vending, we're just chatting a little bit here. Uh, I saw some new people joined. But yeah, here to answer questions, here to chill, here to, you know, I don't know, see what you guys want to see from this channel, I guess. Makes it kind of hard because you're live and you don't know what people really want. You kind of, I kind of just went on here with the idea to just talk with you guys about anything you guys want to talk about. I always collect U.S. coins I was messaging you about on Instagram. Yes, I know you were. I know. I don't think I'm going to be shipping those to Canada um, at first, maybe end of the summer. Locating and what it takes. Yeah, that's a good one. I actually was thinking about doing that. I have a funny video that I think I might do. Um, so stay tuned. Probably I really think that video is going. Anything like that. Cousins maybe. Um, people you could trust, you know. You really do need to trust these people. And you need to trust them, you know, a crazy amount because they are dealing with a lot of cash. 
yes, there are credit cards, but it's mainly a lot of cash. And you know, putting here's one thing: you putting a credit card processor on your machines, it's a lot e easier to manage your soda snack machines. But for like bulk, it's really hard to manage the amount of money that's coming in. So you really need to trust those type of people. This is going to sound a little bit weird, but I always say voice over like information would be great for you. Honestly, I like that. I was going to do something similar to that, hoping not to really have my face in it. I would have to make a little PowerPoint. But I had given a speech for the National Bulk Vendors Association, which was out in Vegas uh, a couple weeks ago. And I didn't get to record it or I just didn't record it. I forgot to. I have the points for that video. It's about getting locations. I was thinking about making a video about that. Um, if you think that video would be better, just a voiceover and a presentation, maybe I'll do that. Um, but I thought maybe people like when I talk to the camera, but maybe I'm not good at talking to the camera. So voiceover is probably better. Talk about honor boxes. Honor boxes are cool. Um, I had the chance to buy like a route of honor boxes here on Long Island. I didn't, I'm honestly first, I'm, this is my first time getting into honor boxes. I'll be completely honest. Um, I have a little twist on the honor boxes for anyone who doesn't know. I actually started my own honor box. I think there might be a link in the bottom of this live for the honor boxes and you can see more about the design and what I plan on doing, but I plan on working with the charity and giving back to them and starting my own brand uh, because the company that actually has honor boxes, the biggest company, Sheridan Systems, um, they actually don't guarantee a certain amount. Even as the boxes expand, it's the same amount every month that they donate. Um, for me, I want it to be a little more transparent and then I want the person to be able to donate. Um, it's obviously going to have a minimum, but you could go to that uh, link which is right in the description and you can see more about it and what I plan to do with those because I don't have any pictures here or anything I think this would work for you because I remember you saying you have a hard time recording and talking yeah I sometimes do have a hard time uh, talking to the camera but getting more used to it bro your videos are fire legit everything I can't see it would be harsh yeah I totally understand that but people definitely want better videos and I want to keep my quality up I'm trying to keep my quality up um, just want YouTube to love me and, you know, boost me up on that algorithm. Are there any sugar-free gumballs? I found a location that has kids with some, wow. That's a great question. And I don't have the answer to that. So I'm not sure. I apologize for that. Um, you could definitely Google sugar-free gum and see if they have that, but I know that's going to be probably a little more expensive. That'd be cool either way. Thanks, Edgar. Nice to see you. How's it going? Yo, what's up, Q? How's it going? Do you like them? Yeah, honor boxes are cool. I think you're talking about, do you work with NCCS? Yes, I do work with the National Children's Cancer Society. I know Quick Play for sure has an interesting style of recording and form. Yeah, they're sweet. I love them. They make great, great videos. It's just really expensive to ship to Canada, Jonah, so I do apologize for that. And I really don't want to have to deal with customs and all that stuff. I'm shipping cardboard boxes, people, and like, it's crazy how these governments are and shipping regulations and all this stuff. It's kind of nuts. Where would you recommend getting full-line vending machines? I've been checking Facebook and Craigslist every day to no avail. All right. Yes, Mitch, the gamer. Um, that's a good question. Craigslist is good. Um, there's usevendingmachines.com. I think that's a website. Um, you have OfferUp. You have LetGo. Um... You have all those apps where essentially you could search each day. If you're not able to get a machine and you can get your location first, um, buy a new machine. Honestly, uh, I don't know if you really have that type of money or if you want to be able to finance it. But in those situations, you kind of have to buy a new machine if you really want to get into the business and just hope it's a really good location or at least know it's a really good location um, by asking certain questions. That's another thing I could do. I had written a book and I'm thinking of not publishing my book. I'm thinking of just giving that information out on YouTube. I don't know if that's a good idea because the book had taken me probably like six months to write. Um, but I think it could help you guys a lot. And there's a lot of things I could share in that that I hesitate from sharing because it's in the book. And if people buy the book, I, I feel bad to those people if I give it away for free. But um, yeah, buy new. If you, can't, if you can't buy used, that's short answer to that. Should you place peanut hazard stickers on the machine? Yeah, you should actually ha ha absolutely have peanut um, allergy stickers choking hazard um, and then obviously your calorie contents and then on bigger machines you want caution hazard if if you know tipped over or pushed the machine could fall on you because you don't want any lawsuits 
just for negligence, you know, if people rocking your machine, which sometimes is possible. The little machine sometimes will fall. You do have that. Um, you do want to protect yourself from that. Okay, I see. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. I don't know how you were able to read that. That's crazy, but cheers. It's just tea, though, with honey, so I guess it's not really cheers, but... What do you think about claw machines? Claw machines are great. I, if I was to start my vending business over, I would seriously sell all of my machines and just do claw machines and toy machines. That's it. That's all I would do. Longest cycles. Um, at least you can make it the longest cycles depending on the locations. And you just rack in a good amount of profit. And if you're not in a pay for play or you're in a pay for play, state i think i'm phrasing that correctly in some states you actually have to have a winner every time but in some states you don't have to have a winner every time so essentially someone could put a dollar in and it could take them seven tries to be able to win that and that's okay so then essentially you're making seven dollars for every one dollar um and then your profit's kind of high you're picking your profit but on the like other side of that you are essentially teaching young kids how to gamble um that was one look at it but it's really not that because the parents are giving the kids the money knowing that they may or may not win. So that's the biggest thing. But you gotta know the rules for your state. Buying new, but to be honest, buying new is really strong investment. I started with used from there, and honestly, it's the best thing. Yeah, used is the best thing. I mean, yes, I do buy new, I have bought new. I don't think it is the best thing, but if you have a high traffic location, you seriously could be profitable in the first year with those type of machines. You just need a good location, and that's the thing. If it's on a crap location and it's a used machine, it's not a big deal, but if it's a brand new machine, good machine, and it was expensive, you need to be making a good amount of money each month. You can't just have a very slow location. Hey, Dominic, how do you track your sales, expenses, tax, etc., for your full line vending business? I feel like it could gets very complicated. I dealt with that this year, big time. A uh, lot of products. I have, I think it was over 44 different products that I could potentially have stocked at any time. So manage that it is pretty crazy. Um, I started migrating to Vensoft, but I was mainly on an Excel platform. Excel. When checking a used machine to buy, what are some things I should look out for? That's cool. I'm going to answer some of that. And I'm also um, going to write that down as a video because I really like that. That's a really good idea. And I was going to do that. I was going to make like a checklist. Um, but I'll touch on a couple points. I just want, I like that idea. So thank you, Mitch. So essentially the biggest things you wanna look for is the compressor. Those sometimes have years written on them. Make sure it's a new compressor. If it's a soda machine, the buttons, make sure all the buttons work. Make sure it's multi-vend, not single price vend. Uh, make sure the coin mech and the dollar bill work seamlessly. Sometimes the coin mech is the brains of the machine. I know that sounds weird. I don't really understand that stuff well. Um, but coin mech and bill validator are big. Make sure it takes $5 bills. I love that machine say ones and fives because people actually put fives in and it's really kind of crazy because now you're getting $5 in at once instead of a dollar. So now your profits are already higher um, on that. Those are some little things. Uh, I wanna think more on that because then obviously conversely for snack machines and bulk machines, there's things to look at for mechanisms and you know, the insides of it, whether it's plastic or metal, there's a lot of things uh, I could definitely cover on that. And I think the biggest thing though, is if it's a soda machine or a snack machine, make sure it's multi-price, um, make sure you could price each product individually, make sure each level works, each button works. Um, make sure you have dollar bills when you go and buy used full line soda snack machines. How many full line machines do you have? I don't disclose the numbers of the amount of machines that I have. Um, you could kind of pinpoint if you want and figure out how many I have, but I actually have sold um, a decent amount of my business, which I haven't really been filming, but I am selling off some of my business. Not a lot of it, but just different direction. I'm definitely going to try to keep the channel updated, but I'm also figuring things out in my own life with my vending business and my other businesses. So yeah, but I don't disclose the number. That's my own thing. I, the Sega, uh, the founder of Sega, the president of Sega, I had met him at NAMA one year and he had told me uh, never to mention my locations and never to mention the amount of machines you have because you could lose them uh, quicker than you ever found them. And I've lived by that. So that's a big thing. I want to get used claw machines in a bar and the population is 400. So can I have an easy time getting into a bar? Yeah, probably. A population of 400 though doesn't sound great. Like are 400 people going to this bar? I'm assuming not everyone in your town is drinking. Um, I don't know how well that will do, but... I guess you'll see. 
it's weird population 400 to me is crazy because population here is in the thousands if not you know tens of thousands you should do a video with quick play, quick play. yeah i do plan on doing some type of collab with them they are awesome i love all of their videos i watch all of their videos What type of other businesses are you in? Um, I have a digital marketing company. I sell books online. Uh, I do affiliate marketing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the main things that I do that provide me income. I do also have a part-time job, which is like I work remotely, so it's kind of easy. But Do you have MDB and DEX systems installed on your snack machines? Yes. Um, I don't DEX though. I don't. So I know that's weird, but as I get bigger, I will need to DEX and I will need a DEX system, but I don't. Any other questions? I don't know. I'm just chilling out. What's everyone doing on the Saturday? Anyone going out? I had a person in a population of 20 in a Shell gas station making two grand a month. You should, it should do well. Wow. Sounds awesome. Sounds like I should be in that state. Um, but good luck with that. That's sweet. Oh, 200. But still, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know really what to talk about. I didn't come on this live with the script, but um, please check the video resolution. The current resolution is a thousand four. It says my video resolution is not optimal. It actually does look pretty bad. I didn't realize that. Um, let's see if I can fix that. I'm Hmm. Video captures here. Okay, I'm messing with this pretty badly. Um all right, whatever. I'll just let it be. I had a per okay, I am in province. Okay. Could you explain a bit about what MD B and DEX is exactly a lot of vendors talk about it and it would be useful information yeah I definitely could uh, I don't have much experience with DEXing like I said um, but I know it's the way that you pull your information off the vending machine and it's an easy way to track you know what's going in and what's coming out of your machines and if there's even any problems do you think it's a good idea to bring a bulk or gumball machine with you inside locations when asking I actually think it's a really good idea um, it's a lot higher of a chance of you closing. It just sucks if you have a small car and don't really want to carry the machines. Some of the machines are pretty heavy. Um, but yes, I think it does increase your chances because at least when you walk in, you place it in the spot that you think it's going to be. And then at least you can ask like, hey, is the owner here? I'd like to place this free candy machine here for 30 days. Try it out. You know, see how it does. And then we could talk about splitting commission and things like that. But just at least, at least try it out for 30 days. That's always the biggest thing you want to ask. Because if they don't want it, you don't want them to feel like they're attached to having your machine in their location. But yeah. Fifteen people in here. What's up, everyone? If you want to just say where you're from, what your name is. We're just hanging out here. Yeah, you could totally rent a U-Haul machine. Um, the biggest thing is getting like a, a lift gate, which I'm realizing is gonna be a lot easier for me instead of pushing machines in on their back into just a sprint van. Um, Cause that's how I've located, or 
move locate uh big machines so far and even my smaller machines or like my racks and stuff um but having a lift gate makes this business a lot easier instead of doing all the heavy lifting with the machines it's 10 16 p.m where i am pa north carolina houston near houston denver what's up everyone a lot of people are so awesome how's it going i'm from south africa sweet nice to meet you man how's it going Ramon, and my name is Derek. Nice to meet you, Derek. Eight sixteen, where he is. Very cool. Miami oh super cool I think we were talking on Instagram I could be wrong but Miami's cool man I wonder if you found me because I was like tagging a bunch of things in Miami when I was down there um, on, on my Instagram I think that was you who I was talking to Derek thanks for watching my videos appreciate it it's 4 17 a.m. for me I'm going to go, but I'll drop a like. Hey, really appreciate that. Wow, super late there. But thank you. Super cool. A um, lot of different people in here. Kind of crazy that everyone is, you know, from everywhere. And we can all be in one place. It's kind of crazy what technology is. Anyone like AI or artificial intelligence, any of that stuff? Anyone pay attention to that stuff? Um, anyone trade stocks? Anyone like Amazon, Walmart? Thoughts on stocks, anyone? So I fixed the problem, but now I can't put it back together. Um, what happened? I don't, I, that came out of nowhere. Oh, was I, oh, okay. You fixed the problem, but now I can't put it back together. Well, you should have knew how you took it apart. Um, but I guess you'll figure it out. So what is your best bulk location? Uh, what do you mean by that? Does anyone else here see that racks are more popular than single heads? Racks are super good because they could, you know, sit for a longer period of time. What time, time do you think is the best time to search for bulk candy machine locations? Morning towards evening. I actually read once in a psychological book um, by Daniel Pink, if you can look him up. Um, the best time and the like in a court sense, this was like a case study in a court sense when a judge right after he had lunch about 30 to 45 minutes, if he had a case, let's say an hour after lunch, his rate of letting people out with easier sentences or not being guilty was so much higher than if he wasn't uh, like if he was hungry and whatnot. So I personally think between the hours of like 1.30 and 3.30 are the best, um, but the chances of the owner be there are sometimes hard. Um, but sometimes in most businesses, if the owner is there, you do want them to usually be there. Um, I found that like when the owner isn't there, um, it doesn't do as well, but usually the owners are there. Um, those locations do better. Just a weird thing that I've recognized. Does anyone else? Oh, I read that. Um, just bought my first stock yesterday. Wow. Awesome. What stock did you buy? If you don't mind me asking, it's a high market right now. We're definitely in a bull market. So I don't know if there'll be a pullback, but the market's doing really good right now. Do you know what the restrictions are for signing at schools? I might be able to get a school location here soon. Depends where you are, man. I don't know where you live, uh, but usually you have to comply to certain regulations with the school, and you'd probably have to ask them. Yeah, start small, though, uh, Oof Gaming with stocks. I think the biggest thing that people say is that they'll do when they have more money, but sadly, if you don't have the money to invest in the $5, $10 stock right now, you'll probably never want to invest, but starting young is the biggest thing. Create the habit. Um, yeah. Best business type, uh, tattoo parlors, um, nail salons, um, and like bars. Oh, yeah, I heard that about the judges too. Oh, cool. Waste management. Not sure what you mean about that. Do you use contracts for locations? I've only now recently started doing contracts with my bigger locations. Um, but yes, it is a smart thing to do. 
if you do want to do it in the beginning, but sometimes locations will push back from doing contracts because obviously they don't want to sign into anything. But it's a smart like a, it's a smart asset to have in your vending business. Um, but it all depends. I bought waste management. Oh, waste management. Nice. I'm sure that's probably a pretty good company. Let me look them up. You bought really high though. I mean, that's and the markets are high. That's fine, but I hope you bought it around under a hundred. It was down under a hundred on Thursday. <clears throat> That's cool. Cool stock. Stock ticker. What do we got? WM. WM. Have you ever thought about a vending store? I have most definitely thought about a vending store. Um, but it really depends on the location. You need a good location. And 7-Elevens kind of are vending stores. They have one employee. But I'm sure as we go into the future, it'll be less and less employees. <clears throat> store locations with vending machines only yeah man i de definitely knew what you were saying yeah i heard they were good like outside of america i don't know if they're as good in america but vending stores only is probably the sweetest thing ever you just need a good location and i know it happens in some parts of europe when i did backpacking through europe i know that was a big thing that they had um stores without people or at least one person like restocking essentially but Definitely a thing. But yeah, 14 people in here. Anyone uh, want to talk and ask more questions? I don't know how big people do this when like it's just like people after people. It's kind of better when you could just answer everyone and talk to everyone. I could totally do a video on how to start with stocks investing. Yeah, that's a. I'm glad you said that. I will definitely try that. I mean, we'll see how receptive people are, but I could definitely do that. I will write that down. I don't have a mentor program. Um, I have like calls. You can book calls with me. I think they're like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and you could just talk to me and we could just one-on-one -on -one talk essentially, but that's not a big thing that I promote. I got a mini self checkout store at my work. Oh, like a micro mart, Edgar. Correct. First I found you on YouTube then your IG. Can you talk about corporation? What kind of corporation is better for vending machines? It really depends, man. I don't know where you're from. I don't know the businesses around you. These questions you kind of have to figure out yourself. The biggest thing I can ask or tell you is what like, things that I've learned and you know how you could do it differently but like corporation wise there's not like one set way to do this um, I s am a small vendor compared to the canteen which is a multi-billion dollar vending company they also do a bunch of other stuff they're nationwide you know so it's hard to compete with them on the corporate side of things um, and I'd rather not give away the couple locations that I do have that are really good um, but any business man th that has over 40 50 60 employees usually are good locations you want over 150 employees those will be really really good locations and then anything over that those are a plus locations um but just understanding the foot traffic of where your vending machine is going to be is your biggest asset understanding if there are going to be x amount of people passing that machine every day so you can make x amount of money um really digging into that i think is the biggest thing Insurance for vending machines is actually really low. Um, you can look it up though. Like any like amusement or arcade insurers, they'll insure your vending machines usually, but it's really, really low. Because the chances of anyone getting hurt with a vending machine is it's not really high. Can I pay for a shout out? I guess so. Yeah. I'll always take money. <laughs> uh, do you have a storage unit for your vending products or do you store them at home? I store them in a garage. 
Um, then I also have like a little warehouse space that I'll store machines in, but I don't like to have machines cause you should never have machines stored. I do have some machines for parts. Um, and then maybe now I think I have two or three bulk machines, but I never like to have extra machines. I know so many vendors that they have such a stock of machines, but you have to be agile. Like for me, I need to have all my machines out. I need to be making money. Um, and only when I'm, I've recently realized is selling off the locations that don't do as well that make, you know, maybe 10 or $15. I'm starting to sell those lesser amount locations um, off so that I can focus on longer cycles, higher amounts, touching more coins, touching more cash every time I go out. Watch my recent video on that. Definitely just trying to maximize my profits right now. Stocks. All right. I'm glad people are interested in the stock. Super cool. What's up, Superior Vending? How's it going? Where are you from, man? Um, what's up, Oof Gaming? What's a reasonable price to pay for a location? Um, depends what type of location, what type of machine you're talking about. All depends. Interesting enough, there's actual instances of people dying from vending machines falling on them, which is weird. Yeah, there are instances of that, but it's not high where like the insurance is crazy amount. Reyes gave you a free shout out. Why can't I? You can give me a free shout out. Hey, what's up, Mike? How's it going? It is a bad idea to pay another local vending business to fix your machines if they offer that service. Getting started, if one of my machines goes down, I definitely think it'll need help from someone. Yeah, I mean, you can do it that way. Um, being friends with your competition is obviously a good thing. Sometimes your competition doesn't want to see you grow, doesn't want to see you succeed, so I don't know if that's a good idea. I never personally did that. I have bought machines from, you know, quote-unquote competitors, essentially, um, but usually it's pretty good they don't try to screw you you know it's still business um but obviously they're reluctant to selling to you or depending it might the people might be super nice the guy might want to get out of the business you really don't know missouri i live in the same town as eli oh that's sweet superior vending very very cool very cool what would be a reasonable price to pay for a snack machine inside a laundromat Honestly, depends on the laundry pa laundromat. Depends on the amount of people going in. Depends where it is. Depends how many laundry machines they have. Depends if they have an employee or not. Depends how much space you have. Depends what you're trying to do. It all depends, and I hate saying that, but like, I don't have clear-cut answers for you for like locations and like how much your machines will be. I'm not a genius with you know where you live and your population. It all depends on your demographic and geographics. I've got a really good repair guy. Yeah, having a good repair guy is definitely a good thing in this business. So many variables. Yeah, so many variables. I agree. Really true. And I guess we're awesome. Wow. That's super interesting. I mean, good. honestly, I think, I mean, you might. We're not weird. So we teamed up and now we bounce location. That's awesome. Man, this is awesome to be able to, all these questions, Dominic. Appreciate it. These are like video notes we can keep. Claw machines are awesome. Plushes don't expire. Yeah, for sure. I try to keep the expirations low. This past week, though, I'll be honest, I did have six bags of chips that did expire. Um, well, they didn't expire. It was the day of, and I actually just ate them, which is bad. But, yeah. Um, claw machines are good. Plush, maybe it does good in Missouri, but I think getting out of plush and doing, like, more, no like, not novelty products, but, like, different products, not plush, like, actual products that people could definitely use and stuff. Vending machine people should all look out for each other. Yeah, we do. We try to do the lookout for each other, but I think it sometimes gets a little crazy with that. I don't know what you mean um, with your question. Awesome. I wondered about the quarter pushers. Yeah, quarter pushers are awesome. I'm hoping I find a location for those soon. Um, coin pushers are cool. I really definitely want to. I really want to get one. And Eli and Cody have helped me like figure out where I can buy them from. But hopefully that does work out. I do have claws. Claw machines that I should be purchasing for my arcade, but I've delayed on it. So maybe this week again or next week, I'll have a video on that with the claw machines and, you know, placing claw machines in my arcade. I've just been delaying it because it's just been doing really good and there's no rush to it. So I'm um, just leaving it alone. Thanks, Superior Vending. Peace, man. Don't get high on your own supply. Yeah, same type of thing. I mean, when it expires, you know, that's kind of how it goes, but yeah. YouTube says excellent quality right now. Honestly, I'm pretty tired. Thank you for everyone who's tuning in. I'm probably going to get off here if you guys have any more questions.
just wanted to do a quick little thing um, yes if you read the title I'm trying to start a vending revolution a bunch of all the all the vendors we kind of do is try to stay together and do things together but um, I have my vending revolution book coming out which I've been debating pushing it out but I'm probably gonna push it out um, we'll see I haven't made up my mind yet I'm thinking about giving away the information for free but YouTube just needs to start paying me honestly all this time that I spend on the videos it does get kind of hard um, and I do obviously when I sell my information that's time that I put into creating these books or time that I put into creating these videos um, and giving my experience so we'll see where all that goes um, oh I know from my own experience used to drop bolos of money on them yeah for sure you could buy new ones on eBay just search up on eBay gotta go guys have fun have fun gumball star um, I'm probably gonna get off here too um, that tea made my mouth really dry and I don't have water so um, thank you for all of you guys tuning in I appreciate it awesome and I'm excited to be pushing out videos on this channel I don't know how much going into the future I'm going to be pushing on this channel but y'all are the best and I really appreciate it even in value I was just about to get off here man and you send me that super chat ah oh, damn <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably going to still get off here, but Infinite Value, George over there at Infinite Value, he's growing his channel. He's actually doing a giveaway right now. Thank you so much, George, for the $2. You're always showing so much support to this channel, and it really means a lot. And I'm trying to help you grow as well a little bit. So thank you for the $2. Gonna hop off. Thanks for the information. Good night. I bought three of these soda machines. Only three holds 51 soda. Weird. Never heard of it for smaller locations. When I got my first location, but I'm sure if I made the right choice, I'm waiting for your next message. Sucks that on the delay. Thanks for answering answering our questions. That's awesome. Mike, my sister and I started. Sweet. That's super awesome. Keep it in the family for sure. Like a week ago, family vending business is the name. Oh wow, very cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, good luck to everyone. I mean, George, if you have any questions, I think you paid for an answer to a question. I can wait on here. I just subscribe, though, to your channel. Mike, or your sister's channel, I guess. But, yeah. Um, 12 people in here. Any more questions? Stay on here for a couple more minutes, I guess. But I'm telling everyone I'm leaving. But I'm trying to stay on here. Support George. Go subscribe to George. Let's give George crazy shout outs. Helping me raise money. Even though YouTube takes a crazy amount of the super chats, I do appreciate it. That's the name of our channel. Thanks for your time, bro. Yeah, anytime, guys. I appreciate all of you. Oh, Southern. Here you go. Oh, Floors by Southern Boy. I, I recognize you from the other uh, chats. Oh, I guess it's a perfect time to go. Um, my girl is calling me right now, so I'm going to get off here. Hey. I'm live, but I'm about to end this. But I mentioned I mentioned you. Yeah, I told him I gotta go, cause my girl called. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, George. Go subscribe to George. All of the ten people in here, go to George's channel. He's gonna teach you how to be successful. And he seriously is. He has a lot of cool stuff on there, and I, I appreciate what George is doing. He's trying to educate the masses while even you know educating himself and teaching himself. I think that's the best thing. But thank you guys. Sorry to be rude, but I am off. Thank you so much. Peace.